Oh, hey. Captain Rex, did you ever find a clanker to shoot? Well, as a matter of fact, I did. You know, it actually wasn't as exciting as I thought it would be. Oh. Hey Rex, you know what I can't stand? What? Podcast. What's wrong with podcasts? There's too many of them. Like, literally everyone has one. Whether you're a YouTuber or a wrestler, or just some random guy, everybody has a podcast. Well, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Some people just like hearing themselves talk. Speaking of which, why don't you make a podcast? Yeah, you know what? I should make a podcast. Show all those amateurs how it's done. I'll tell you what, you can be my co-host. That's very nice. Yeah, and we'll call it Dead Pod. Okay, the name needs some work, but we should definitely do that. Do you ever think Chuso's gonna do Star Wars vs. Marvel Part 3? I don't see why not. The first two are pretty entertaining. Yeah, but it's a lot of work making Star Wars look like it actually stands a chance. Yeah, wait. You think Marvel characters could easily defeat Star Wars characters? Oh well, yeah, mostly everyone in Star Wars is just someone with a gun or someone with a laser sword. I'll have you know there are plenty of people in Star Wars that are very skilled and trained. Oh, I'm not arguing that. I'm just saying they can't be superheroes and supervillains. I think you underestimate Star Wars a little too much. So you're saying Han Solo can beat Captain America? Well, okay, maybe not. But still. Okay, you know what, Captain Rex? I'm sorry, I probably should have been a little more clear. I actually do think characters like Jedi and Sith actually stand a chance against fighting Marvel characters. Oh, well, that's nice. They still get beat, though. Wait, what? Think about it, bud. You got Jedi, you got Sith. They have all these cool, amazing powers. But if they get shot one time, they die. Well, I'm sure a Jedi or a Sith could withstand getting shot a couple of times. In fact, you should be glad I wasn't in any of those Marvel vs. Star Wars fights because then you guys would have lost even worse. And why is that, Deadpool? You don't know? I have an outrageous healing factor. I'm talking like Wolverine. In fact, even better than Wolverine. Like, I'm virtually unkillable. You do realize you can still get beat by getting knocked out, and that would still count as a victory. Oh, yeah. You win perfect. Psst. Hey, Rex. Yeah. You have noticed the subtle growing amount of super villains that we've been getting, right? Now that you mention it, I have been noticing it. You know what this means, right? No. Well, they're eventually going to get overrun with villains, and then they're going to take over the entire house. I think you're being a little over exaggerative. Okay, just hear me out. Now, you Star Wars guys have a pretty good bit of villains already. You got your Kylo Ren's, your Darth Vader's, your Count Dooku's, and all those little evil guys in between, right? If they were to team up with Thanos and Doctor Doom, they could probably destroy us all. That's not going to happen. And why is that? Because if they team up, then we'll just have to team up too and take them down. True. We are two of probably the best people in this entire collection, so it would be up to us to save the day, wouldn't it? Exactly. Just have to make sure they don't get the drop on us. Like right now. Oh. 